animals, we're here to talk about how they're made. You're probably curious, so we'll teach you what they're all about. So we'll teach you what they're all about. So what is a transgenic animal? A transgenic animal is one whose genome has been deliberately altered by the transfer of a gene or genes from another species or breed. The most common way of creating transgenic animals is through DNA microinjection. In this example, we will be inserting a human gene into a cow. The human gene is microinjected into the egg from the egg donor. This egg will be reinserted and developed in the host cow to become the transgenic cow. The transgenic cow will express the human gene in one form or another, in this case, in the milk. To clone a transgenic animal, two end nuclei from the adult transgenic cow cells are micro-injected and enucleated eggs provided from the egg donor. These new eggs will then be developed in the host cow to eventually become cloned transgenic cows. These cows should also express the gene that was expressed in the original transgenic cow. Now let's take a look at how DNA is cloned. Here we have a human cell and a bacterium. Human DNA will be isolated, as well as a plasmid from the bacterium. Next, restriction enzymes will cut the human DNA to isolate the human insulin gene and will also cleave the plasmid, leaving sticky ends that the gene will recognize. Then DNA ligase joins the gene and plasmid together to create the recombinant DNA. The recombinant DNA will develop in the host cell and DNA cloning will occur. Transgenic animals, they're kind of crazy to think about Yeah, and we got to talk about the ethics and the pros and cons The ethics and the pros and cons Those who are for transgenesis argues with the basis of utilitarianism meaning that the best moral action is one that maximizes utility. For example, if we were to do an experiment on a cow, one that might harm the cow, if it ultimately brings positive results for many more of another species, such as humans, then it outweighs the harm that we are doing to the cow. Another argument for those who are for transgenesis is increased agricultural efficiency, which means that there is a higher ratio of agricultural outputs to agricultural inputs, which can also be applied with the aim of reducing agricultural pollution. For example, the Enviropig. The Enviropig has been genetically modified to produce an enzyme that breaks down dietary phosphorus, limiting the amount of phosphorus released in its poop. Animals may also become genetically modified to be disease resistant, allowing for better management of them. Examples include immunity being conferred to the offspring via antibody expression in the milk of the mother and parasite control in sheep and goats. Another pro for transgenic animals is its possible benefits to human health. For example, pigs have been genetically engineered for higher levels of omega-3. Cloning may be useful to help endangered species. This technology could be applied to either extinct or endangered species. Cloning may help retain genetic diversity in small populations of endangered organisms and ultimately in our world. One of the most significant uses of transgenic animals is when it comes to understanding diseases and drug discovery. Animal models of human disease are valuable resources for understanding how and why a particular disease develops and what can be done to halt or reverse the process. The use of genetically engineered animals has also become routine within the pharmaceutical industry for drug discovery, drug development, and risk assessment. Animal rights is the foundation of those who are against transgenesis and against animal testing in general. Manipulating animals for human ends as if the animal were nothing more than human property is inhumane. 
Transgenically producing animals could have a range of unexpected side effects and will harm the well-being of animals in unpredictable ways. Some also argue that humans are playing God. Individuals have argued that crossing species boundaries is unnatural, immoral, and in violation of God's laws. Another argument against transgenesis is the threat it poses to the natural system of society. The International Olympic Committee has expressed concern that athletes will soon employ genetic engineering to get an edge. If individuals are willing to genetically manipulate their children to make them better athletes, then it's likely that individuals will be willing to manipulate their children to be more intelligent or whatever the parents think would give them an advantage. Transgenic animals, they glow in the dark and they're